Hello, this is Miss Moore, and today we're going to take a little tour of the periodic table. So today's the central question, how are the atoms grouped on the periodic table? Um, I'm going to be drawing during this lecture on a periodic table, and while I encourage you to also find a periodic table to draw on, please do not use the one you use for tests and quizzes. Either print out a new one, um, or you can, you can add to the one that you, the little half periodic table that I gave you for the periodic table reading questions. Okay, this information cannot be on the periodic table that you use for homeworks, tests, and quizzes. All right, so here we go. Um, we're going to start by talking about the difference between a period and a group. Okay, so a period is something that goes across the periodic table. Okay, so that's a period. And a group goes down the periodic table. So that's a group. And as you can see, we have um, period numbers. There's period one, two, three, four, so forth. And we have group numbers. We have group one or 1A, two or 2A, 3 or 3B, 4 or 4B, and so forth. And then we have 13 or 3A, 14 or 4A, and so forth. All right, next let's talk about the main group elements. The main group elements consist of groups 1 and 2, or also known as 1A and 2A, and groups 13 through 18, or also known as groups 3A through 8A. Okay. So those are known as the main group elements. They can also be called the group A elements. Um, and you can see why, I'm sure. 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, and so forth. And their last name is representative. Representative elements. Okay, next is the metals versus the non-metals. Okay, and if you guys note, there's a jaggedy line here. Everything to the left of the jaggedy line are metals. Okay, and everything to the right are the non-metals. Okay. And then there are a few other interesting areas. Um, this area here in the middle, this sort of down area, are known as the transition metals. And this area down here at the bottom is called the inner transition metals. Okay. So you'll note, hopefully, that most of the periodic table um, are made up of metals. All right. Um, and now let's talk about a few other specific groups that I would like you to know. Group 1A um, are specifically known as alkali metals. Okay. 2A are known as alkaline earth metals. We've got group 17, that's an important one. Those are the halogens. And the last group I want you to be familiar with is group 8A or 18. And those are the noble gases. Okay? So, I need you to be familiar with the metals versus the non-metals, where the transition and inner transition metals are, the alkali, alkaline earth halogens, and noble, noble gases, and also the main group elements, also known as representative or group A elements. Okay, that's it for today. Make sure you become very familiar with this.